Hello there, everyone, and welcome to The Theorist with your host, JC Botero 67 And today, I want to focus on Dancing with the Stars. I am a big fan of the show, and I'm super excited to finally do a Theorist review prediction of this upcoming season, 17. Now, I know I haven't seen the people dance or anything, but, you know, I'm willing to kind of give my input on who I think would be, like, in the top three or the top five, etc. Because, um, actually, in the season where JR won, I just looked at his picture, like, of the cast of that season, and when I saw his picture, I was immediately drawn to him, and I was like, okay, this guy, I could see him winning this competition. And he did. So, you know, I predicted that, and then I also predicted uh, Jennifer Grey, but I guess that was kind of a given. I don't know. I felt it was kind of a given because she was on Dirty Dancing, even though people said that she wasn't the one who did the dance moves on there, but, you know, I still had faith in her, and of course she had Derek as her dance partner. So, you know, there's no denying the fact that he is a great instructor. I mean, he's won four times already. So while there are people who kind of are like, oh, like, he wins so much and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I, I kind of agree with that, too. But, I mean, if he's one of the best of the best, I mean, that's what he is, right? Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and move on to the cast listing of this upcoming season. A lot of them are actors or TV personalities or reality stars, so it's kind of like a TV craze, I guess you could call it, uh, this, this season. Because, I mean, you have Elizabeth Berkeley Lauren, she's from Saved by the Bell, then you have Corbin Blue from High School Musical, Brant Daughtry from Pretty Little Liars, uh, Valerie Harper from The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Jack Osborne, uh, son of Ozzy and a TV veteran who's hosted and anchored a few shows, Snooki, Nicole Polizzi from uh, Jersey Shore, Leah Remini from King of Queens, and lastly, Amber Riley from Glee. Um, so that's a lot of people who've... Actually, wait. There's also Christina Milian, who, you know, a lot of us knew her as a singer of, like, AM to PM and Dip It Low, but she was also involved with, like, TV and theater... Keyshawn Johnson, who was a former NFL Super Bowl champ and all-pro wide receiver, also did uh, some TV stuff as well. So I think the only person of the whole cast who hasn't really been involved with like TV is uh, Bill Engvall. But then again, you could consider him being a TV personality of some sort because he was nominated for a Grammy. So there you go. <laughs> so pretty much the whole cast is all... Uh, TV. Very interesting. So that being said, I do want to go ahead and predict who I think would be in the top five. Like I said before, I know it's probably too soon for me to predict. I haven't seen them dance. So when I see the first episode and, you know, have seen all of them do their dances, I'll decide who, like, the top three or top four are. You know, maybe it could change from what I have here. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. And I also welcome you guys to comment on this video or private message me your thoughts on who you think might be in the top three or, you know, I'm kind of leaving it up to the top five because usually semifinals are like the top five. So, you know, go ahead and list off the five people you think would be in that semifinals going to the finale. But yeah, I think... Corbin Blue has potential to be in the top five. I think he would probably rank in fifth place. And, I mean, you've seen this with Disney stars. I mean, of course, you've seen Disney stars make it further than fifth place. There's, uh, for example, Kyle Massey made it to second place. Uh, Chelsea Kane, I believe, made it to third. But usually the Disney stars get pretty far. So I would not be surprised if Corbin Blue made it into the top five. I just remembered Zendaya, um, who was in second place last season. So, you know, she was so close to winning. But, you know, second place is still good. So, very impressive. But yeah, going back to Corbin, I mean, in High School Musical, I mean, he did do some dance moves or choreography. So, 
you know, he's definitely got the coordination, the rhythm, the technicality to make it far in this competition. Uh, Personally, I think that two of the people who would be in the top three are Christina Milian and Snooki. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the matching hair color they have. Probably not. But I think that they would make it into, like, the top three. I really do. Christina, of course, is paired up with Mark Ballas. Uh, Mark Ballas is also a great dancer. So, you know, I would not be surprised if she made it far. And, I mean, she's one of my favorites. As a 90s kid, I mean, I grew up on her music, and I I just love her. Like, she's so great. So, you know... She is bound to prove to us that she will be as great a dancer as she is a singer. As for Snooki, I'm not that big of a fan. I've never seen Jersey Shore, so I'm just kind of like, eh, not my kind of thing. But, you know, I think Snooki has potential. For some reason, she just stands out to me. I, I guess I'm basing this off of the fact that Mike, the situation, was on Dancing with the Stars as well, and I think he made it to, like, fifth or sixth place. So... I expect Snooki to make it even further than that. But, uh, you know, we'll see how her dancing is. As for, let's see, because I've already mentioned three of the five, I think Keyshawn would make it pretty far because athletes are usually quite up there as well. So that's just a kind of random guess of mine. And then for the fifth person, I'm not really sure. I'm still a little bit undecided, so I think when I actually see them dance, I'll kind of make my decision on who I think the fifth person would be. Um, Not necessarily saying that they will be in fifth place, but, you know, after seeing the first episode, I'm pretty sure I'll have a more precise idea of who I think the top five will be. And keyword is think. I'm not saying that those five are gonna be the five. You know, we all have our favorites there's going to be someone who stands out to us the most, so we're not all going to agree. We're going to agree to disagree, (laughs) but it's always fun. I always find, you know, making these kinds of predictions a blast. But anyway, I will kind of touch base on the rest of the cast and my thoughts on them. So we have, of course, again, Elizabeth Berkley and Val Schmerkowski. Um... Val has been in the top three for the past two seasons. So I'm kind of wondering, okay, Elizabeth might have potential to make it into the top five because that spot is still open (laughs) based on on my predictions here. So, you know, the question is, will he do it again? All right, then we have Valerie Harper. She's partnered up with Tristan McManus. I think she is going to have a lot of respect and support because she is a classic. She was from the Mary Tyler Moore show. So I could see her making it far as well. Now it's interesting because Tristan was paired with Gladys Knight. So, you know, he's kind of getting paired up again with a classic celebrity. So we'll see how far she gets compared with uh, Gladys. Then I think both Bills, Bill Engvall and... Bill Nye the Science Guy, are going to be the comical guys of the season. And, you know, they're going to be such a fun time that we're going to want to keep them around week after week. Brant Daughtry, hunky guy, I must admit, is going to be a fave among the ladies, hands down. Then uh, we come to Amber. Amber is partnered with uh, Derek Huff. I think she could become the next Ricky. Uh, Ricky Lake, of course, was partnered with Derek a few seasons back, and she made it into the top four. So Amber has that potential to be in the top five. As I've mentioned before, Derek is a really good dancer and a really good instructor, so she could make it really far. And I also did want to point out the fact that Amber and Ricky are, you know, kind of on the chubby side, but, you know, that doesn't mean that they aren't good dancers. I mean, we saw Ricky. Ricky was amazing. And she made it to fourth place. So, I mean, come on, that's really good. Fourth place is still a good place to be in. But yeah, we haven't seen Amber dance yet. Or at least I haven't. I know she's in Glee, but I haven't really seen that show either. So I don't know if there's, you know, I I know the gist of it. It's like singing, kind of like a musical 
atmosphere to it. So, you know, maybe she's done some choreography, some kind of dance moves. But it'll be interesting to see her kind of do, like, ballroom and whatnot. But yeah, the point that I'm trying to get at is that, you know, you don't have to have a great body to be a great dancer. In fact, my mom and I do Zumba together. And, you know, we've noticed there are some instructors that, you know, they have great bodies, but they just don't dance that great. Like, my mom and I aren't trying to brag or anything. But compared with uh, some chubby instructors that we have or have had, who are like excellent i mean the moral of the story i guess is it's not about the body that you have it's about the rhythm and the technicalities and the capability you have of being able to do that so it's more the ability of being able to do a job so like looks aren't everything um i know what was it like a few years back it was like ugly is kind of like the in thing or something so they were looking for more kind of average looking models as opposed to like really attractive ones and i mean that just comes to prove that again looks aren't everything i mean there's more behind that and of course it's the inside of the person that counts and then in the case of dance it's the ability so i mean you don't have to be born a dancer you can become a great dancer and you know with amber having Derek as her partner, I mean, he could really get her to be one of the best dancers. And who knows, potentially rank into the top five. So enough on Amber, because I feel I'm dragging that on so long. Um, this is gonna sound really random, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm growing a girl crush on Leah Remini. She is from King of Queens, which I have not seen either. I know, I feel like I haven't seen anything. <laughs> um, you know, I'm more like the anime nerd. So a lot of the stuff that I watch is more online or Cartoon Network. But, um, you know, Leah Remini is a cute girl. I came across some pictures of her on Google, and I must say she is attractive. But yeah, she is partnered with Tony. Tony won the All-Star season, so that'd be kind of cool for both him and Leah to be in the top five. So, you know, I guess... What I'm trying to say with the whole girl crush thing is I think I could see Leah becoming one of my favorites. So we'll see if she ends up ranking in my top five list. And then this is going to sound bad, but I honestly think that Jack Osborne might be the first one to go. I don't know why. I just, I don't really know what to say about him. I mean, he's the son of Ozzy, which is cool. And random note, I hope that Ozzy gets called to a future season of Dancing with the Stars, because that'd be awesome. But anyway, back to Jack. I mean, I've basically given my reasons as to why I think everybody would make it far, or, you know, at least not be eliminated after the first week, but I don't know what to say about Jack. I really don't. But I mean, if Jack is your favorite, I'd like for you to tell me the reasons why you think he would make it pretty far or why he wouldn't be eliminated the first week. You know, I want to hear from you guys. I want to be able to interact with you guys on this. But anyway, I'll go ahead and conclude this. So thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Dancing with the Stars review.